So I did have another plan, worst scenario. But I never thought the water could get as high as Ian. A San Carlos Park couple and their dog are safe tonight. They had to be rescued from their flooded home during Hurricane Milton. You're watching San Carlos Park firefighters and a Florida search and rescue team drive in high water to save them. As NBC2 Sarah Mankiewicz reveals, social media helped firefighters track them down. William Rogers tells me as water was filling his home from Hurricane Milton, he had to climb through this window with his wife and his dog so firefighters could get them to safety. I was in the house and uh, it started coming up, coming up, coming up. As Pomosa Avenue in the Island Park community flooded during Hurricane Milton. All the lights were out and I was shining flashlights around through the windows, seeing all the different entry areas with the water where it was at. Roger says all he could do was hope for the best as he took action to get out. At this point, life jacket on the dog, life jacket on my wife. They were sitting on the bed and I'm running in and out, switching pumps and trying to keep the water out. Milton's storm surge swept into the community and then into his home. When it came in, it came in quick. Within minutes, it was up about a foot. Starting to lose hope that help was on the way. I stuck my foot like this and when I put it in the water, because I didn't have shoes on, I just had my, I was you know barefoot. My foot hit the water and I got electrocuted. But Rogers tells me that didn't stop him. Right there. San Carlos Park Fire Department rolled up shortly after. We had uh, USAR Task Force 6. They specialize in swift water, meaning fast moving water rescue. So we had the right staff there with the uh, right equipment. We also have a high water rescue vehicle, so we can operate a vehicle in those four foot deep waters. San Carlos Fire says they were using mailboxes and light poles to find their way to Rogers. I was shocked to see this truck pull up and it was in probably five feet of water and it was rolling, no problem. And they were backing in here and it was still, that truck was above the water. After signaling the firefighters with flashlights and hopping on the rescue vehicle, everyone was able to make it out safely. I'm local along Pomosa Avenue, Sarah Mankiewicz, NBC2.